Hello, my name is Nicole Watson, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel and blog for this Jelly Art and Art Foamies collaboration. In this part one of my tutorial, I'm making a bunch of backgrounds using my Art Foamies and the Jelly Arts paint, plate, and brayer. Since I hadn't used the Jelly Arts paint before, I began by just playing on my plate using just the paint and adding a little bit of water for that kind of watercolor look. I wanted to see the true colors of these paints and how they combined to uh, create other colors and also just test how they work on the plate before I began stamping with my art foamies. Next I began to just play with the paint and my art foamies. First I brayered a bunch of the paint on the gel plate and then stamped in it with my art foamies. I like to keep a book or some extra paper next to me to clean off my uh, stamps or stencils or whatever other tools I'm using on my jelly plate. So you'll see me do that throughout this tutorial if I don't have another print that I'm wanting to stamp on. I noticed that when I stamped with the art foamies, my first stamp took off a lot of paint, and then my second, third, fourth, etc. stamps didn't pick up as much paint, so I experimented with uh, stamping in the paint a couple times and then cleaning it off in the book or another piece of paper and stamping back in the paint a little bit and to get a kind of different look so that the stamps would be um, either have more paint picked up or less paint picked up for just a different look to each of those times I stamped. So my brayer was now dirty and I decided to clean it off on my art foamy and stamp that directly on to the gel plate to see what it did and I used dictionary paper here to pull that paint off the plate. Next I kind of wanted to test the opacity of the white paint so I uh, spread it through all over on my plate and just grabbed a toilet paper roll and made some marks in the paint. and. Just dabbed it a little bit on that one print to see what it would do and then cleaned it all off on another piece of paper to again test the opacity of the white paint before I began to use it in some other prints. Then I wanted to add some more layers to some previously pulled prints and uh, brayer directly on the art foamies and just added some color on top of those prints. Next I uh, filled my plate partially with paint and I uh, cleaned off the art foamy a little bit and then thought it'd be kind of fun to use the paint on the gel plate as my stamping uh, surface and pulled paint from that and stamped other places on the gel plate. And I really liked this technique so I thought I'd try it again using the green, did a couple stripes and again used that paint on the plate to stamp with and uh, used that same paper to pull up that paint and really loved the, how this um, effect happened between the, the technique that I used here. So I just kind of continue to play with the same technique, just seeing um, the limitations or what the art foamies can do on the uh, gel plate and just kind of having fun here as new ideas come to me on what to try. Next I used the brayer again um, straight onto the art foamy, stamped that onto the gel plate and then pulled some prints that way to add some more interest to some previously uh, pulled prints from my plate. I love how that simple stamp adds another dimension to an already done um, 
print <laughs> and then I kind of continue the same techniques and processes that I was doing earlier but this time I'm using a smaller stamp and just using the paint on the jelly plate and the stamp the art foamy stamp and pulling um, and printing with it and this time instead of doing a full uh, pull I just used parts of it to add some interest and then I'll clean off the plate with a full pull onto this one I kind of liked that last technique, so here I am experimenting again with the same technique using a different color. Then I decided to start adding some white into uh, my jelly plate as I was printing. Grabbed the white and also a different stamp this time. Stamped directly into that paint to see what it would do. And uh, I have quite a bit of paint on my stamp so used that on another print. I uh, pulled off that paint and I love the pattern that happened here. So because I really enjoyed that pattern you're going to see me using this art foamy quite a bit to add interest to some other prints and then just to experiment with how it prints in different ways on the plate. I decided to experiment a little bit more with color blending on this stamp and I absolutely love the purple that resulted from this experimenting. After I buried the paint here I just grabbed one of these Dina Wakely tools to scribble on it to add some more interest to the paint and also that toilet paper roll again and pulled a complete pull just so I could really see how this paint blended and it is so gorgeous. I love the colors that just these three created. Then I used my bear again to use that uh, same color combo on the plate and did a clean pull to see what it would look like. So since I was loving these colors I continued to play with them but switched it up a little bit and grabbed a couple different art foamies to play on the plate and with the brayer and stamping and just having fun discovering how the art foamies and the jelly arts paint work together. began to add some more interest to some previously pulled prints using some of the different stamps in my brayer, just stamping on them to add little uh, bits and pieces of other uh, interest to them so that when I use these in a future project I can um, have lots of different options to play with. Then I decided that I really wanted to test that white a little bit more so I cleaned off all of my stamps in the brayer and grabbed a new palette paper and just used the white on this stamp to add a lot of interest to some of the previously pulled uh, prints and you can see how just adding that pop of white really adds another layer and dimension to these prints. It um, just brings out some highlights and light and uh, using just those word stamps and that little eye stamp, I love the effect. So I continue to add just little bits of white to a bunch of my prints here and playing with uh, 
adding that white and then I'll play with that word stamp a little bit more to add some different layers and interest to some new pulls and some previously pulled prints. And now since I really liked how the teal and magenta and white combined together to make that really neat color, I decided to try it again using the teal and green here to create a different color. And then I'll continue to do that coming up with orange and yellow, I think, just to see how these uh, colors can combine to create some uh, different shades and tints and colors and hues uh, to kind of think outside the box of just the few colors that were in this color pack. The colors themselves are absolutely gorgeous and they combine beautifully to create some additional colors for interest and using the art foamies and the brayer and the jelly plate really work wonderfully to create more colors and add additional layers to these prints. So I think some of the really cool things that happen with jelly printing is that you can begin to get a little brave and put some color combinations together that you'd never think of. And some of these coming up turn out to be some of the fav my favorite prints that I made. Um, this one is kind of weird, but <laughs> I absolutely love how it looks. Um, just as much as I love the purple that I created earlier, this uh, orange and the kind of watermelon looking one together it turned out really cool and then I just continue to play again um, this time I grabbed some ledger paper to pull some of the prints with and I'm going back to that purple again and um, printing with that on the ledger paper and this next print ends up to be one of my favorites too but um, printing that purple on top of the orange is so beautiful as well I loved how that one turned out So I'm just doing some final playing here, adding some more layers to some already uh, printed pages and using up the last couple of pieces of paper I had that I hadn't um, pulled a print on. I can tell you that had I had more paper, I would have continued this process because I was having so much fun, more fun at this point. I'd become more loose and experimental and it was really fun to see the prints that came from just a few colors and a few art foamies and not much extra um, tools here. I just simply played with the few that were in front of me and I think another day if I do this, I would come up with completely different prints. It is so much fun to create on this jelly plate with the art foamies, the brayer, and the ink, or I mean the ink, the paint. It um, works wonderfully, performs so great on the jet the jelly plate here it doesn't get dry it stays wet and I absolutely loved playing with um, the Art Foamies products and the Jelly Arts paint and plate so enjoy watching my last few pulls here and at the end I will show you every print that I created and maybe in the comments below you can tell me which one it was your favorite so finally, I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to both Art Foamies and Jelly Arts for this awesome collaboration and to you for watching. Be sure to hop over to both companies' blogs for links to the other artists who are participating in this collaboration and even a giveaway. I also have a part two to this video showing you how to create a small journal with these prints. All of the links are below in the info box here on YouTube or also on my blog in the info cards and at the end of this video. Thank you again so much for watching. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and comment below letting me know maybe what your favorite print was or share with me some of your favorite techniques you use for jelly printing.
Thank you.